All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm back as promised. Wanted to uh, show uh, an example, a couple examples of running actions from Copilot Studio, continuing in our Copilot Studio uh, exploration a series here. So I'm over here in uh, Demo Copilot, in Copilot Studio. And yeah, let's jump into uh, how to run some actions. So in the Last video, I showed you how to uh, show you how to create generative answers from an Azure AI search index and the ins and outs of that. So if you haven't seen that video yet, uh, yeah, just take a look at my channel. That's the first video, and this is going to be the second one. All right. So jumping in, um, well, first I uh, wanted to show just kind of demo something. That would be simple and easy to understand. So I was looking around online for some free APIs and I uh, found this one that's pretty cool uh, over here, the NASA astronomy picture of the day. So if you just go to uh, apod.nasa.gov uh, or if you just Google astronomy picture of the day, it'll take you to this. Uh, so every day they show a different picture with a different explanation. So today's just kind of a a silly uh, flowchart explaining how to identify uh, lights in the sky. Um, but I've been been kind of following this and and there'll be some there's some cool pictures on here of like nebulae, um, planets, uh, pictures from the Mars rover, all kinds of stuff. Uh, anything that's in like NASA's uh, picture uh, repository. So yeah, so that's a, a fun little thing and they have an API for using this and uh, the API is, uh, you just have to sign up for a free API key to query this, but it's just uh, api.nasa.gov slash planetary slash apod, and then in the query string, you put in your API key. Uh, so this is, this is what the response back looks like from the API. Uh, so it's just that same data that you would see on the screen, just in a, a JSON format, standard REST API. Um, yeah, so so I thought we could use that to to demo how to how to run some actions, getting like external running, getting external data from uh, external REST APIs. So if we jump over here into topics. Uh, so I already created one. Um, so actually, first thing I did before I get to that is on the settings of my copilot, I enabled this setting under generative AI called uh, generative preview, allow your copilot to use generative AI to identify the most appropriate combination of action and topics. So uh, basically, what, when you turn this on and you go to create a topic, uh, you'll create a description for that topic and uh, the um, built-in AI model in Copilot Studio, which I believe is G GPT-4 now, but it's a custom GPT-4 model. Uh, it will um, automatically determine what topics and answers to use uh, based on the description. Whereas the classic version, which is the default, um, it just goes off of keywords. So every topic you'll put in some keywords and uh, whatever the user puts in in their query, um, if it matches those keywords, specific, very specific keywords, then it'll trigger those topics. But, uh, uh, I think I feel that the generative is much better. So much better option because it's more flexible. You don't have to very specifically match those topics and those keywords, the keywords to topics. So, uh, I created this topic, NASA astronomy picture of the day flow. So first I'm going to show you how to uh, run a, uh, a power automate flow from a dynamically picked trigger. So in the description, I put, uh, use this tool to get the NASA astronomy picture of the day. And then let's, uh, jump over to the flow here. So when you go to create one, uh, and I'll just show you here. I'll just say call an action. And under call an action, when you go to add a new node to this, uh, there'll be an option to create a flow. 
So if you do that, it's going to kick you over to Power Automate to start making a new flow. And it'll have a trigger called Run a Flow from Copilot. Which if you've ever used Power Virtual Agents in the past, it's basically the same as that Run a, run a Flow from Power Virtual Agent. Uh, more or less the same where you can add inputs and you can have text, a yes, no, um, file, email, number, date. So, uh, let's get out of that. So this is the flow that I made. So run a flow from Copilot. So I don't really need any inputs on here, but if I did, I could add them here and then we could uh, populate those. Uh, in the action, I'm using the HTTP action, just like I showed you here to, to run this HTTP get. I'm parsing that JSON uh, to get that output. And then I'm sending, uh, sending the title back from that JSON. So if we go back here and look at the JSON, so we get title, uh, URL to the picture, a high definition URL for that picture of the day, and then an explanation, and then date, and then copyright. So what I'm sending back in my flow is sending back the title, the explanation, and just the regular picture URL. So jumping back to the topic here, cancel, let's cancel that. Uh, so once you have your flow created uh, and then added as an action, uh, Copilot Studio will automatically map the, so I'm going to zoom in on this, it's automatically going to map any inputs and outputs that you have. So in under outputs, it's automatically going to create some topic specific variables for you. So it created a topic, explanation, picture. So I'm populating those variables within the copilot topic. And then I'm taking those and then I'm sending just a very basic message using send message. And then in here I'm putting, oops, did not mean to add that number, <laughs> but I'm putting the title and then I can just populate this variable again put the explanation and then with this drop down I selected image and then if we look at that under image properties uh, again for title I put the title and then for image URL I put in that picture variable. So if we go ahead and run this, uh, show me today's astronomy picture. And then if we click on this conversation map, we'll be able to see the context. So Copilot decided it's going to get today's astronomy picture using the NASA astronomy picture of the of the day flow tool. So it's that topic. And then, yeah, it went ahead and output it to us and how to identify that light in the sky, that explanation paragraph. And then if we scroll down, yep, there we go. Yay. We get the picture and then the little title for the picture too. All right. Simple. So you can run a power automate flow and pretty much anything you could do in power automate flow for the most part, you could have it trigger from your custom copilot. So, get as creative as you want and you can get very creative. That's very flexible. Okay. So that's one simple way of, of creating an action. And you could, you could like send emails, you could, uh, send an SMS text message, connect to text service like Twilio, um, generate reports. As I'm actually doing that at my job. I'm generating, I have uh, actions that gener will generate reports and email them to the person that requested it. Uh, all kinds of stuff. So uh, with that same idea, I also wanted to show you how to do this a different way. Uh, so if we go over here, I believe. Yeah, I started building a new topic. So I wanted to show you 
Instead of running a flow, I'm going to show you how to just run the HTTP call directly from within the topic. So under when we go to add a node here, instead of call an action, I'm going to say send an HTTP request. And then out here, I'll just copy this full URL. And then under method, yep, you can put uh, any HTTP uh, REST method here that you want. Get, post, batch, burp, delete. So we're doing a get. And then we have to tell, we have to tell it how to, uh, how to store that data, what kind of data it is. Well, actually first, before I do that, uh, I'm just gonna show you how to uh, if you needed to add headers, you could do it in here. Or if you needed to, uh, if you needed to send a body for like a post, you could do that here. And I have that written out here. So just to give you an example. Uh, if you wanted to use the formula, it would be, you would use the JSON PowerFX formula. And then just like you're creating a JSON, you would do your uh, curly, uh, curly brackets and uh, input one. And then you could add, if you had a topic variable, uh, be topic dot whatever that variable is. So just for example, input one, top input two, topic dot input two, et cetera. So that's how you would uh, craft your JSON body if you needed to send a post. All right, uh, we're not we're not going to need to send a post, so so we don't need any body there. We don't need any headers. Um, same thing for headers if you needed to. If you needed to uh, add a header or something. So body, I'm just going to say no, no content. And then uh, for response data type, I'm just going to put from sample data. And then this will generate our uh, JSON schema from the sample data. So I'm going to go back here where I ran this in the browser. And paste that in there. All right, so it generated our schema or JSON schema. And then under save response, I'm going to go ahead and create a new variable. And by default, it'll just name it as var1. If you want to go ahead and change that, just click on it. You can change this to, uh, uh, I'll change this to a pod response. Okay. Oops, I didn't save that. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So now uh, we can go ahead and do the same thing. We can send a message back. And then in our message here, we click insert variable. And here, we're going to see our populated, um, automatically created topic variables from that uh, JSON schema. So uh, Copilot automatically, Copilot Studio automatically creates these since we put in, created that JSON schema. Um, so it can just basically parse that JSON response back to us. So we can go ahead and put our, go ahead and put the title. And yeah, I'm just going to add a couple lines here, very basic. And then put the explanation. And then I am going to, oh, yeah, just like the other one, send an image here. And 
and then do the same thing as before. Our URL and title. Okay, and then go ahead and save that. Wait for that to save here. All right, now that that topic is saved, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the flow topic just so it doesn't confuse the copilot bot. Oh, that's the new one. I want to turn off the other one. Just click the three dots. I'm just going to turn that off and then wait for that to turn off. All right, now we can go ahead and open the testing pane here. Just clear that out. All right, make sure our topic map is turned on so we can see what's happening. Show me today's astronomy picture. All right. Okay. So it's running our topic using the HTTP action instead this time, instead of running the flow. And we get the same output as expected. How to identify that light in the sky. We got our explanation and our nice little picture here. And of course, if you, uh, within that message response, um, so I just did the very basic message, a basic message, but you could also put in an adaptive card instead. Uh, so we could change this. Make it look a little bit prettier, right? Instead of doing this, we can uh, I'll just add a new node here. Send a message. And under add, here we can say add adaptive card. And then here we get our adaptive card uh, editor. So what I've done, I'm not very good with adaptive cards. <laughs> so actually what I did uh, when I was creating some adaptive cards is I just used ChatGPT. And I said, hey, ChatGPT, this is what the kind of adaptive card I need. And and uh, it helped me create it really fast. So that's a good use case for, for generative AI, another use case right there. Um, yeah, so that's a this is a short video. I'm just explaining how to run these uh, run actions from Copilot Studio from your Copilot Studio bot. Uh, I hope that's helpful and useful. Um, if you like this video, um, like everyone says on YouTube, go ahead and do the thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you liked it. Uh, feel free to to subscribe if you like, because um, I will be adding more uh more content i have a bunch of ideas things i like to cover both within copilot studio and just uh other topics of things i find interesting that i've been working on so yeah thank you thank you for joining me on this journey all right take care